ポケットイーニックスチュートリアル OK、for this video I want to talk about these tools up here in Animator All of these options up here are very important to learn as you're starting out in this program So let me go ahead and let's we'll click this button here so that we can make a sphere OK、so let me talk about these three buttons right here These change、uh, your viewport and how it is viewed If we click the first one here, this transparent cube, this will give us a wireframe view of our object. And as you can see, this object, we can see it in wireframe. If you click this second option here, this is the flat shaded view. Clicking that will show the object with its flat faces. It's no longer transparent, but you can see every face on the model here. And you can also see the lines on the model as well. That's useful. And the default option when we created it is this third one here, which is the smooth shaded view. Together, you have the wireframe, flat, and smooth shading views. The hotkeys for these are Ctrl W for wireframe, Ctrl F for flat shaded, and Ctrl U for smooth shading. The next button on the top toolbar is the materials button.、Uh, if you click this, you will open the materials editor. And you use this simply to create materials. Basically, colors and add them to your object, and you can create more than one and apply that to an object. I will actually go more into detail with materials in another video, but for now,、uh, that's what that button does right there. Next tool we want to talk about is the arc rotate tool. That is the circle right here with the four dots. Clicking on that gives us this green circle right here in our viewport. With this, you can pan, rotate, and zoom in on any object. So, here we have the outside of the green circle. What we want to do is work on the inside of the circle here. If I left click inside this green circle and drag, I'm able to rotate. And I'm able to rotate along and look at my object. If I right click and drag, I'm able to pan the view. And middle click and drag, I'm able to zoom in or out with the middle click button. If I pan to the side, you can see this is all constrained to this white、uh, three lined axis right here. As you can see, when I rotate, the arc rotate tool is actually bound to this three white lines here. And if I pan that into the object, I'm able to rotate around that. So, with the arc rotate tool, if I click on either one of these two squares here on the side,、uh, it will constrain my rotation. To just the x axis. So I will only be able to rotate side to side like this.、Uh, in the same way, if I click on the top or bottom squares right here, click and drag up or down, I will be constrained only rotating on the y axis. Left clicking outside the green circle and dragging will constrain the rotation to the z axis, as you can see here. The sphere is just rotating in place like that. Alternatively, you can always zoom in and out regardless of what view you're in simply by using the mouse wheel like this. The hotkeys, you have two options for this tool here. You can click Ctrl R, and that will have the arc rotate tool constantly active after clicking that, and you'll be able to use it here. Clicking and holding Alt will automatically bring up the arc rotate tool, and this is very convenient while you're in the middle of your workflow. As I can just let go of Alt and you see the arc rotate tool will disappear. I click it again and there it is. So I encourage you to play around with the arc rotate tool、uh, as well as the different kinds of views that you can activate. Get used to these hotkeys Ctrl W, Ctrl F, and Ctrl U for wireframe, flat shaded, and smooth shaded views.、Um, and yes, get used to using the arc rotate tool by Pressing and holding down Alt and clicking and dragging within the green circle, or right clicking to pan and middle clicking to zoom in and out. These things you definitely want to get used to because you'll be applying them a lot as you work. So go ahead and have fun with that.